I'm Braden Dyerson. And I'm Nick Stonesuffer. And this is the Wraparound April Fool's Edition. Hey, do you guys want to learn about the Students Against Education Club? No, not right. Not right. You guys aren't against education? No. Okay. Do you want to learn about the Students Against Education Club? Okay. We don't need no education, man. Programming yourself to relearn everything you've learned. I'm the vice president myself, and I only spend about three minutes on this a day. There is a small entrance exam. Obviously, we can't show you the answer. If you were to look at this question, what would be your... This is difficult. Yeah. Like, normally people would say four, but I'm thinking five. Pretty close. The real answer I think... was actually dead fish. I'm glad you're thinking about reprogramming the way your brain thinks. Look, we'll put you on a probation period. Yeah. Okay. So, You're not quite uh, dumb enough for our standards, but you can get there. You show promise. There's our cameraman up there. Wave hi to the Collegian. You just got April Fools. There was a clause within this like proposed change that they would be giving twins um, identical tuition. What do you guys think about that? I don't think that's true. I don't believe you. April Fools. Exciting stuff on today's wraparound. It's not every day you get to meet a president of the United States. Dude, what's your opinion on April Fools Day? Lincoln, you of course known as the tallest president, standing at 6'4", but I feel seeing you in person, that's a bit of a lie. Care to comment, Honest Abe? Come clean about your height to your people. See any good plays recently? Mm-hmm. Uh, have you heard of this new actor, John Wilkes Booth? Uh, he might blow your mind. The Simpsons predicted that Duke is going to win March Madness. Are you, are you, is your bracket still alive or do you uh, have a bracket? Bracket's busted. Busted. And then last big story coming out of uh, Penn State this week is that they're postponing finals two weeks. Seriously? Yeah. Like, for real? For real. For uh, I feel like you're messing with me. Yeah, April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. You guys have a few minutes to answer a few questions from the Daily Collegium. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> What are you guys' reaction to the recent announcement that James Franklin is going to step down as head coach of Penn State um, and is actually going to become the head coach of Penn State Equestrian? Is he into, like, Equestrian? Any thoughts? I think it's really surprising to go from football to horses. Another huge announcement that just broke is that Penn State's actually going to double tuition for in-state students and half it for out-of-state students. Any thoughts? Um, I'm already dropping big dollars to be here, so I don't really care. <laughs> There's been like a lot of breaking news recently mm -hmm. in the Penn State world. Obviously, one of the biggest things is, is that just today, the uh, Big Ten announced that Penn State would be removed from the Big Ten, that they're going to reduce it down oh to 10 really? teams. No, really, yeah. Um, wait, so how's it going to be called the Big Ten without... 10 schools. So there's currently 14 oh, teams yeah. in the Big Ten? No, it's Why really... Why get kicked out? I don't know. I didn't make the rules. Okay. We're just looking at other conferences to go to. We would, like, lose everywhere else. No offense, but... <laughs> we would lose in the Pac-12? Probably. Probably. I'm He's not lying. lying. <laughs> Why would I be lying? I'm a reporter. Does anybody here want to talk to the Daily Police? Just need one more interview. Hey, nice to see you. No. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Will. Thank you. I'm going to look up the daily, what is it? Daily Collegian. Daily Collegian. I'll look that up. Okay.